Alrighty guys, sorry for the big break from YouTube, I have uh, been dealing with quite a lot these past few months. Um, as you all know, I've lost my brother, and um, just recently the wife left as well, so it's been quite a tumultuous period in my life, uh, dealing with not being able to see my son every single day, which I used to, has been quite hard and especially after losing my brother it's just been a really really bad year and uh, also lost my uncle as well a couple of weeks back which is just shocking but enough of that just a little update the patrol's got some 35s and some nice new rims on it also got the caster correction bushes done and also the swivel hub seal fixed on one side after a little trip to Fraser I did recently I went up the sand dune that me and my brother had gone up two years ago but this is what you're all here to see the 200 amp hour lithium battery with nothing in there look just stupid this is <laughs> Look at the size of the actual battery and look at that it's nowhere near that size I'll try and get it to scale for you just to give you an idea of the wasted space so look at look at this gap I can stick my whole hand in there and pretty much my whole hand there as well so as you can see that box is just way overkill and in the four-wheel drive industry that's stupid we need to save space with our setups so i have approached a 3d printer guy and he's made up a custom box i got him to make it a little bit bigger so i could chop it down if need be now there's the lid for it as well he did make it a lot bigger than i was expecting because he had to make the box very sturdy that was what he wanted i suppose wanted to make it sturdy and that's fair enough but um yeah i've got to chop it down quite a bit now this is up to you guys whether you go down this route i really really think that everyone should change that unless unless you've got plenty of space obviously if you've got a caravan or something like that these batteries no worries whack it in um you got plenty of space in caravans but when it comes to four-wheel drives and 200 amp hours with a good bms like i'm not going to say they're crash hot bms's but it is capable of 200 amps quite easily and as you would have seen in the old videos of this battery um it does 260 i think it was 260 amps no worries and this didn't get too hot so i was quite shocked at that so all in all really good battery they're using good cells from what i can see being prismatic but also they got a fair big gap here I did didn't notice that earlier but um, I suppose that's good for automotive industry especially and when I stuck the QR code into every single site I could nothing comes up I can't tell what type of cells that that these are actually running so that's a bit of a bummer also doing another lithium build over here that will be in a following video i didn't really film this but this is another channel update i guess the um floor got done so i epoxied the floor just because it was shocking before and obviously when you're window tinting you want it to be reasonably slippery and slip all the slip solution and water that you spray out of the actual garage and it's brightened it up and I actually love it. It's not that hard to do, to do by yourself. Um, did use two people and absolutely stoked with the results, to be honest. 
I have also started wiring up this new sealed solenoid for the winch and the wireless controller as well and it was actually a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. It's all sorted now though and all I've got to do now is stick that back in the bull bar and try and find enough space with that front mount intercooler that's in there now. Also in a following video you will see the new engine work that has been done to the patrol. It uh, just received the front mount intercooler, new turbo, a Mamba 18G. It's got the cross country manifold inside it as well, intake manifold. It's got a three inch at the front, three inch intake, and all pipe work and yada, yada, yada. And also the exhaust manifold as well got done. So yeah, that'll be coming up in a following episode. I'm just waiting on some footage that I need to grab from Owen, so. Yeah, I'll start editing that video very soon as well. I'm sorry that I've taken quite the hiatus from YouTube, but I've needed a bit of mental health time. Also, the trailer has been absolutely fantastic at charging up the entire garage while I've been working and using this trailer. So my power bills actually went from 620 bucks per quarter and now they're at 247 per quarter so this has been absolutely phenomenal and pumping along now for over four no it's actually five months now and i haven't done any welding yet i will get to that as well obviously and yeah the solar panels are just sitting over there on the ground and this just keeps going no problems at all i did hear the fans kick in the other day when it got really hot but I haven't put any insulation in there. I've, as I said, I've been taking quite the break from anything pretty much, just taking mental health time off. Now also, those of you well savvy in the four wheel drive industry, you know exactly what this means for the back of my four wheel drive. It's a bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming up in another video as well. I cannot wait to stick all this gear in. It's, um, yeah really top quality stuff too and these are only 26 kilos each these xtm drawers the king's one is like 95 i'll correct that in the edit um i think it's 95 empty so yeah i won't be losing any weight but i'll be gaining a little bit more basically changing the setup quite a bit so that i can accommodate a shower now as well and also a sink in there now, as you can see, the guy that 3D printed this up, I don't know what he got wrong with the measurements, but it's definitely not needed to be that big. I, I meant in depth when I said to him um, that I need this a little bit deeper and I'll trim it down until I'm happy with where those terminals are going to sit in relation to the battery. But I think that got lost in translation. He, I think he was Czechoslovakian or something like that. But yeah, very helpful guy. I just think he didn't realize that I um, don't need all this space. It's um, completely counterproductive to what I actually wanted to do and get away from that big old box there. But anyways, this battery is actually going to go into another system as well. The whole back end of the patrol is going to be ripped out and I'm going to start again. I'm going to do a whole new setup for the EMU wing as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, that was just a little bit of a channel update and basically showing you guys what's actually going on with this 200 amp hour battery. I was hoping to make this a lot smaller obviously, but um, yeah, got lost in translation with this guy. But as you can see, it's definitely well worth the money, this battery. I really do highly recommend because it's prismatic cells, you've got a half decent BMS there, you really can't go wrong with lithium to be honest unless you stuff up when you're wiring it and it's basically your fault then. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys.